morning. How's everyone this evening? I just wanted to come on and talk about the fri the Friday. Today's not Friday. The freebie that um, I posted in the group today. And this freebie is a <clears throat> mini. Hi, Miranda. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Joan. Thanks for joining in. So this freebie is a mini journal or zine. And I also have a pocket and some journal cards, a card, journal card for your prayer list and journal card for your answered prayers. So let's take a look at how we put all of this together. And I don't know if you've already downloaded it um, and printed it, but if you have it, this will show you how to use it and how to put it together. And then that way, when you go and download it, you will know exactly how to use it. So once it's printed, let me find one of my printouts that has a border on it. And I know I have some because I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay, so if this were the printout, and of course this is it because this is pretty blue. Um, this is a journal page that goes with another journal that's um, in my um, Etsy shop. But it has a white border around the edge. And all I do with the white border is I simply trim it all off so that you're left with nothing but the paper. Now, I didn't adjust my printer and do anything different to my printer settings or anything like that. I just simply printed this. It's printed on 28-pound um, copy paper, so it's a little thicker. You can't really see through it as, as much as you could if it were that thin um, copy paper. So, and I folded this because I wanted to... Um, crease the middle so I would know where to cut at and I'll show you how to um, fold it in just a second so I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up and these two boxes that are here in the middle that's where I am cutting so I simply start here and I'm going to cut all the way down for the first and the second box right here and I'm not going to do it a second time because I know me I would go too far so it went through yay I have been doing um, some live videos and I have been doing crafting blunders on some of my my um, videos in the other group so I'm glad that it's going well okay so far we're not finished yet Okay, so you have something with a hole in the middle that looks like this. So now what you want to do is you want to hot dog fold, fold it in half the long way, crease it really good, and then you are going to hamburger fold, fold it in half this way, and then what I like to do is I like to open it up and then I fold into that crease, turn, and then fold into that crease again. So then it's all creased. Now, it's not gonna stay exactly like this because we have to do the magic. So here's the magic part. The very middle crease on the front and the middle crease on the back, right here, you are going to pop it out like this. So that then you have something that looks like this. And then you simply fold it down, which gives you your booklet. Now, what's nice about this is, and for some reason I've got a little piece that's poking out, and I will fix that, and I think I'll fix it with some washi tape. Okay, so it's not quite finished yet. This page can be turned into a pocket. And then you have this part here that's open and it goes all the way through like this. So we wanna fix that. So what I like to do is 
I like to take this. I'm going to lay this like this. And I'm going to run a bead of tape across here. And then I'm going to take my paper and smush it together, creasing it really good. Smushing is a technical term. And then I still have this. So what I'm going to do next is opening it up. Now this part I have to be very careful with because I have a tendency when I open it up like this, I will put it back together wrong. So I'm going to hold it really good and I'm going to put a bead of this tape here. I'm going to roll it over and I'm going to come back this way. There we go. And now, before I do anything, I'm going to make sure that I am putting it back together correctly. And I am. All right. So now I should have it taped at the bottom on all of them. So that now I have a pocket here that I can stuff some notes in. I have a pocket here that's no longer a see-through can't go all the way to the bottom and I have a pocket here that I can stick stuff in and then I have a pocket here uh-oh this one I forgot this one I have to run a bead of this tape right along here all right there we go. Now I have a pocket here and my pocket here. So now I can, and if I don't want all of those pockets at the top, I don't have to have them. I can close it up all together. So this is my mini journal or zine. And then I can put all kinds of things in it. Let's see. I have... Well, this is a bookmark. Let's look at this one. See what this one looks like. This is a bookmark. It's a special kind of bookmark. I will show you a video for it maybe next week, but not this week. So there we go. And then I can take my bookmark. When I flip my page, it has a scripture on the on one side and one on the other side. And what's I I love these little mini booklets because the front says love the greatest commandment. Love hopes all, love endures all, love never fails, love bears all, love is patient, love is kind, and then the back is blank. Um and you could put whatever you wanted on it. So that's the little mini booklet. And now my pieces for my pocket. Where did it go? Here we go. Okay, so these are just um, journaling cards. And I am hooked on using this aged mahogany um, distress oxide right now. It's like one of my favorites. And I'm just simply going to distress. Oh, thanks, Miranda. Um, hopefully you got a chance to see the how-to video on it in, um, in the camp. I'm loving all the cool stuff that's going on over there. But anyway, um, I, this is like my super favorite stuff right now. I love distress inks anyway. But this this color is like my my all time favorite. So I just distress the edges around just to give it a finished look. And then I'm after I'm done with all of this, this can go in my Bible. And this kind of prompted me to create this one because we've got Valentine's Day 
coming up this week and we think about love and um, for that. But also because of all of the scriptures that we are doing with our scripture writing and the theme being love. So we have the prayer list where we can write our prayers. And to me, it's not only important for us to write our prayers, but it's also important for us to write out the answered prayers. Because the answered prayers is what helps us um, to gain faith and it also becomes a reminder that when the enemy comes in and he's like, you know, God doesn't answer your prayers. God doesn't hear you. And it's, and he does do that. You know, if you live for God any amount of time, you know, he's going to throw those darts at you. And this is a great way that you have something to go back to and you can just pull it out on your down days because we do all have them. You know, we're not perfect. We're living in the flesh and um, we're just striving for perfection. <coughs> Excuse me. Please pray that the cough goes away. I'm still holding on to it. So I distressed the edges. Um, this is the first Corinthians 13, seven love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And then the back is blank. And you can take and do a little this distress around it to give it a, a little pop of color since it is bright white. There we go. There's enough on there. And these are that bright, bright white color too. These were printed on cardstock. And um, again, I didn't change my printer settings or anything like that. I just printed them as they are. Or as they were not really thinking about changing any of that so now we have a little bit of a pop of color on there not too bold but just enough color that you can see um, it's not that stark white which either or would be nice so then you have these three you have your mini booklet mini journal and now you have this and, oh, I forgot to cut this, this part out. So this little white part right here needs to be cut out. Let me just do that really quickly because I don't want to try and do that once I put this together. And if you ever need really, really nice scissors and you're in the doctor's office and they are taking out stitches or any of that kind of stuff these are wonderful and they stay sharp for the longest time so um <clears throat> my mother had several surgeries and as a result i was able to obtain some so being resourceful okay i am going to put a little bit of this on here because i don't want this to kind of show up at the top okay and then when I fold it you can't see that start and then I'm also going to do the edges and just to stress them up a little bit hides the cut part I hope everyone's joining in with the scripture writing and that you're enjoying and getting out of it as much as I'm getting out of it. It has been a blessing um, to really read these scriptures and um, study them and see what God has in store for us. And the Bible study that I teach on Monday evenings at the senior place of the lodges that's what we've actually been studying is love and um, we've been talking about love God's way and I'll share with some share some of that with you as um, I go on throughout the month so now I'm ready and I want to again a little bit of this tape 
You could probably use glue. I don't know. You could probably... Um, Uh-oh, that went over too far. So, I got my tape in the wrong place. Let me show you something that I have that will let me get this tape off of the wrong place. So I know it's hard to see, but I have this sticky thing and it erases and I don't know what it's called. A crafting friend of mine um, gave it to me. It was sent to her in a in something that she purchased um, off of I think wish or something and whoever the seller was they just put it in with her stuff and sent it to her and because hi Sarah and because she had so many she gave me this and you can wash it I have not washed mine as you can tell because it's turning um, dark but that's okay <clears throat> I just simply take this and um, it's going to take this sticky off of wherever I don't want it. So, there we go. Now it's not where it's, I'm getting it off of the part that I don't want it on. And it's the coolest thing that I have ever, ever seen. Okay. So I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. If you have one of these. But it works great. And I wish I knew the name of it or I'd tell you. But I don't. Okay, and I'm okay with it being um, dirty looking because it's going to be hid and you will not see it. So there we have it. And there's the little pocket. Hi, Sonia. So there's a the little pocket that I've created. I might have to run another bead of this tape down here along this edge here. I did. There we go. Okay. So, there we have it. And now, these can go in there. There we go. And I think this fits in there too. There we go. So, now we can stuck, stick this pocket in our Bible. And um, have it to carry around with us to journal in about love and also um, about our prayer request and our answer prayers. Okay, so I hope this helped you with the freebie that's there in the posted in the group. And um, enjoy it. You know, I post the freebies for you guys to use. I just ask that you not share them, and um, I also ask that um, if you sh are showing it to someone and they would like it, that you would invite them to the group so that they can participate in the group and obtain all of the freebies that they have interest in and not just the one that they've seen you with. Um, so thanks for watching. Thanks for being a valued part of the East Coast Bible Journaling Group, and I will see you next time. Have a good night.